have loads of people got that? Quite a few people got yeah, it, yeah. Theodorus, that's right. Theodorus, um, have they got who he was? Um, yeah, some people did. What did they say? Hold on. Them? I'm trying to find who it was. Trying to scroll back, but I think the text may be moving. Ask the question now. Who was Phaedrus? What was Phaedrus? Yeah, what was, who was Phaedrus? He's not really mythological as such. Is that in the art of my cycle, mate? Yeah, yeah, he is. That's exactly right. That he, was ES music. Um, she the art of vocal, most cycle arrangements opens with a quote that says... Epicurean philosopher. He was an Epicurean philosopher, exactly. Um, uh, he's, he's sort of considered a lesser philosopher. I think there's like a group of them, and he's referred to... I think he's referred to with Aristotle. I, I, I can remember. Or to Yeah, he's sort of. They would have like you know when they did some of those symposium things. Was it Plato? I get confused. Who's who's actually Roman? It's a long time ago since I studied all this stuff, so forgive me. But I think he gets mentioned as sort of a person who asks questions to Aristotle. I think he's mentioned somewhere. Um, but in, he's slightly modified in some of the art of motorcycle maintenance. So the book opens with, so tell me what is good and what is not good, Phaedrus, or Phaedrus, tell me what is good and what is not good. Um, and in the book, he becomes the alter ego of the, the guy who wrote the book, Robert Percy, because he has a, Robert Percy actually had a psychosis. He's a very clever man, and he was, he was a mathematician philosopher, um, and he was, ex he was um, exploring the metaphysics of quality, but he drove himself mad in the process and got committed to a mental institution in Chicago, I believe, in the 1960s. And he just, he referred to his other self as Phaedrus, and it's dotted throughout the book. Um, and it's it's really it's a really amazing book if you haven't read it. And Idaho is directly inspired by that, and that's where it is. Um, Dr. Robert, he says it's all in the head. So that's who it's about. I wonder if they've mentioned him in this. I'm now really paranoid that Phaedrus is actually Latin rather than Greek. Oh well. No, I think Phaedrus I'm is Greek. I'm fairly certain he's Greek. Mm. I get confused sometimes between the Greeks and the, and the Romans. Because um, there's a lot of overlap, obviously, because people like Plato were heavily influenced by Aristotle and Socrates. <laughs> Aristotle, he liked the bottle, didn't he? Aristotle liked the bottle. Yeah. Indeed. Aristotle seemed like he'd be a good bloke, actually. I like all his poetic stuff. It's quite useful. He says that there's only seven stories you can really tell. He's got like very firm rules. And actually, he was on the money, because thousands of years hence, every time I turn on a made for telly movie, it, they all appear to follow Aristotle's poetics to, to the T. Um, what time is it? And I've, awful, I've, well, I've talked it's, a lot of rubbish tonight, well, it's, it's probably, it's, it's, uh, it's about, yeah, it's about an hour since you started, and it's poll time, really. It's poll time, egg jokes. Well, it's really interesting, is it, every, it was very close tonight, because we had Blood is Blood. Okay. Halfway home. Yeah. Skeletons. Yeah. And every, everybody's gone to war. So, I said to everybody that if it was a tie, yeah. that you'd play all of them. Any, any of the ones that hit we the tie. We don't have time, though. Well, that's what I said, so that's, you know, that's the way it's gone. And it was all very neck and neck, and then suddenly one eked out in front. I really hope this one it's not, because I haven't played it for a while. Mm, that's interesting. I'm sure that is. Well, now, now, now someone's just voted, and we have, we have, we have a tie, so you're going to have to play two songs. Okay, all right, let's do it. So, Blood is Blood has 23 votes. Yeah. 23% as well. Yeah. Halfway Home has 28 votes. 28%. Skeletons... Oh, no. That's 21. Oh, thank God for votes. that, because I cannot remember 22 it. votes, oh, it's eking up. Oh, Halfway Home has 29. You only have to play one. Okay. So everyone's gone to war, which up until that one second, that last person just voted for Halfway Home, up until then, you are going to play two songs. Awesome. And now, it's been decided that you're only going to play Halfway Home. Alright. That's what I like. <laughs> It, it does. It does seem that it, it does seem rather unfortunate that everyone's gone to war was winning. Everyone was quite excited about you playing that, and possibly you playing that on piano. I have played it on piano. Well, maybe, maybe. Did anybody come see me at Bush Hall when I supported Jason Mraz like a hundred million years ago? Because I played it on piano that day. I think yeah. this is what I'm thinking, right? I think you should do halfway on guitar, and then end for the evening when everyone's gone to war on piano. I could try that. Yeah.
actually semi tone higher than the song is in real life, so when it gets the middle eight, it could be really interesting. Here we go. studios in West London and see that the man who was standing in the way of the tea bags, I was a bit disgruntled about this because I had a very important things to do like make tea and answer phones. Um, and I sort of huffed you out of the way and said, yeah, excuse me, I need to get to the tea bags. And you turned around and it was you, David Bowie, and I apologise. 
because it looks like it was sort of get lost in your different coloured eyes and sort of go <laughs> it was all very embarrassing and then you were but ever so nice and you passed me the tea and you said would you like some sugar as well do you need a hand and, and at that point I thought I was actually going to faint with adoration at your feet and I remember I have to tell you you're, you're even more handsome in real life for an old bloke who's old enough to be my dad, I really thought you were rather quite fanciful and I did swoon over you for the rest of the afternoon and tell all my friends. And you were very nice and polite. And um, so I just like to say to people, you never know who's going to be in your kitchen standing in the way of the PG tips. It could be Deborah Barry. <laughs>